Hello, everybody. Welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, August 6, 2016. Our words for discussion today is going to be on insecurity. Now, we know in Psalms 23, what we're finding out when King David wrote this, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters and restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Now we know in Proverbs 4.23, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flows springs of life. In Matthew 6.25-34, through 34, Jesus talks about how we get anxious in our life and then how God provides for the birds of the sky, the lilies of the field, and how these do not toil and spin and are still more superior than even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like any of these. Now in Ephesians, finally, Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil. In heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full army of God, armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil every day. And having done all, stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened the belt of truth, putting on the breastplate of righteousness. Now, this is a lot of information in a short amount of time. And what I'm getting here is King David knew that God would always be with him even during times of trouble and death. We are not to give up, but be vigilant, for God will see us through our trials. He will never let us do more than we can handle. In the parable Jesus shared about the birds and the lilies, he demonstrated how his Father God cares for everything. We are told to put on the whole armor of God because Satan and his demons will attack us. Stand up and be bold for faith for God is in complete control. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.